Did you ever wonder if your fitness was actually improving? Sometimes the day-to-day -day training just turns into a blur and it's hard to make sure that you're actually making progress. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the four best ways to track your fitness progress. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video to see why all four of these tracking techniques are important and why you can't just rely on one or two of them. But before we get into the content, I wanna thank you for checking out this video. My name's Sean, I'm the founder at Upside Strength, your number one fitness resource in Switzerland. If you're new here, please like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can get all the new videos as soon as they drop. Now, let's get to the content. Training hard is important, but it's also important to make sure that you're always making progress. Otherwise, you might be wasting precious energy and time on exercises or on a routine that's not even worth it. Without waiting any further, here are the four best ways to track your fitness progress. Number one, body measurements. This is one of the top tracking techniques that I'm gonna to cover today, so make sure you pay attention. As you start and maintain an exercise routine, your body shape will start to change. It's important to keep track of those changes over time so you can see where you're actually improving and what areas you still need to work on. For example, if you're working on upper body size, you might wanna measure the size of your arms, your chest, your upper chest, and your shoulders to see if you're moving in the right direction. As a general rule, I'd recommend measuring yourself every eight weeks. If your body adjusts to exercise really quickly, you might be able to do it every four or six weeks. If you work with a trainer, ask him or her to do it with you. Otherwise, you can just do it by yourself at home. Make sure you don't wear too much clothing when you're measuring yourself so you can get precise numbers. And before we move on to number two, I just wanna note that body weight is not as important as most people make it out to be. It's really just another body measurement. Let's say you're gaining muscle mass and you're losing body fat at the same time. The weight on the scale might not change, but your body shape might be changing dramatically. So keep an eye on body weight, but don't lose any sleep over. Number two, progress pictures. Because you live with your body every single day, sometimes it's hard to see it changing over time. Taking progress pictures is gonna allow you to really see the change in the most objective way possible. Take progress pictures in your underwear, preferably standing in front of a white wall, and always use the same background for future shots. Take pictures from the front, from both sides, and from the back. Have someone help you with the camera work, or simply do it by yourself uh, using the countdown on your camera. Repeat the pictures every eight weeks, just like you would do with the body measurements. Number three, clothing. How do you clothes fit? Clothes are a really good indication of changes in body size and shape. If you're gaining an upper body mass, your shirts will get a little bit tighter. If you're losing weight around your midsection, your pants might get a little bit looser. If you find yourself using a smaller belt notch after a while, you're on the right track. As your body transforms, you'll start getting comments from your coworkers, your friends, and your close ones about how different you look. Be aware of these comments when they come your way. Even if you don't feel like you're progressing, others are noticing it, and that's a really good thing. Number four, gym metrics. When I'm working with my personal training clients, I always make sure we track at least three exercises that are linked to their fitness goals. We will regularly test those exercises over time to see what progress they're making. If you have specific goals, pick three to five exercises that are relevant to you. If you're not training towards anything in particular, simply pick three to five exercises that you like. For beginners, I usually recommend one to two upper body exercises, one lower body exercise, one core exercise, and one cardio test. These could be, for example, a 10 rep max on the bench press, barbell or dumbbell, a 10 rep max dumbbell row, a max plank hold, and a six minute effort on a bike or an air bike for max distance or max calories. At the beginning of the program, set up a baseline for all of these exercises. That will give you a really good starting point. Then, simply test those exercises at a regular interval to see if you're moving the needle and getting fitter. Now let's talk about why it's important to track multiple metrics instead of just using one or two of them. The road that will lead you to your goals is often longer than you think, and it's likely that you'll get lonely and lose a little bit of motivation along the way. If you're only tracking your body weight, for example, and that stops progressing for a while, you might start losing motivation and give up. But if you track multiple metrics over time, even if the needle isn't moving where you want it to move, you'll actually see progress across the board and that's gonna keep you engaged. By using all four of these tracking methods, you will stick to your program long-term, which is the biggest variable for success. When it comes to fitness, consistency wins every time. Question, what exercise do you track and why? Make sure you leave your reply in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you soon. Bye.